I may have a pumpkin problem. Today we're decorating tear trays for fall. I know it seems like it might be early, but really it's not. I like to get it out there ahead of time so that you guys have plenty of time to go look for some of the same things that I've purchased and you can use them on your trays if you're interested. I have seven to do for you today. I have a new tray. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I have accumulated over the last several years of doing tiered trays, lots of pumpkins and lots of DIYs and lots of other fall decor. I really had no idea I had this much. Um, here's some new florals I picked up from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna use these on a new tray that I have that I'm gonna show you in just a second. Also, I picked up one of these little craft pieces. I think I'm gonna do some fall papering on this and make a DIY. This is a sign from the Dollar Tree. I'm not using the whole sign. We're just gonna take the chalkboard part off and use it. Look at these. These came from the Dollar Tree too and I really like these. Very pretty. I think they're new this year. I don't know. I could be wrong. But if you saw my um, little short that I did, I have some new pieces here that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And then of course I have my signs that I always use. I've got some wheat here. I have my little pilgrim couple. More over there of all my pumpkins. I love this little stack of books I purchased off of Etsy. I think I'm gonna DIY this jar. This came from um, also the Dollar Tree. Oh, I forgot to show this one in my short. This one's also new from Hobby Lobby. And then I like to take these um, pumpkins and I just take them off the stick. And these are really good to use on your tiered trays also. Okay, here is my new tray. I got this galvanized tray from Hobby Lobby. This was in the spring section and I got it for 66% off. So I got a really good deal on it and I'm really, really excited to start decorating it. So I forgot to buy chalk. So I'm using, I used a permanent Sharpie in orange and that was not showing up on the blackboard here. So I'm going over it with the white and then the orange is still showing so both of these words are going to have like white and orange on them. So don't use a permanent anything if you want to erase it, make sure you get chalk. I just didn't have any on hand, so I used the permanent markers. Here are the pieces that I have picked out of my stash that I just showed you that I'm gonna to use to decorate this tray. I'm doing this a little bit different today with the filming because I still have all of my other stuff laid out on my table here. I wanna make sure I can just see everything and look at everything so I know when I'm doing my trays, I'm doing them exactly the way I want them and I am able to look at everything I have on hand. So we're gonna just do it from a little bit different angle today. I hope that's okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some anchor pieces.
One of the things that I'm noticing about this galvanized tray, because it's deeper, is that you really want to get more florals. The florals really help fill up the deeper parts of this tray. So that's one thing that I do recommend if you have a tray like this is to get more florals to fill in some of the spots. And I also think some lights would be nice too, some pretty fairy lights. I think that those would work really well also. So this tray I'm going to put on my kitchen counter. I keep it over here by the toaster and the uh, toaster oven and it sits real nice here. I actually had my white one here and I decided to switch it out for this new one from Hobby Lobby. All right, I've got my black tray. I had done this in a dark academia theme. I will link that video for you below. I was going to keep it for fall, but I've decided, no, I really want to decorate with pumpkins and get some orange on here because I do like the orange and the black and the white. So here are the pieces that I'm going to use on this one that I've picked out. And this one's going to be pretty simple to put together. If I have time, I'm going to hope to style that one in the back too that you see behind it. We'll see how much, if I run out of time today, I'm pressed for time. I've got one day here. All right, this one we're just going to go for a more simple style. This is going to be mostly pumpkins on this one. So this tray I keep in my family room and I keep it on the hearth of my fireplace area here. 
I have a lot of blues here, so I did put that little blue pumpkin on the tray just to get some blue in there. But this is where this one will stay. Hopefully I will get this decorated a little bit more for the uh, fall season. And there is the black tray. So let's move on now to my beaded tray. Okay, tray number three is my beaded tray. And here are the pieces from my pile of stuff that I'm going to use on this one. So I think we're going to go with kind of the velvety jewel tones, kind of lends itself to the beaded tray and the topper here. I really wanted to save this rattan pumpkin for my white tray because I needed another larger pumpkin. So I just wanted to see, I felt like it looked better on here, but then I switched it back because I wasn't sure. You let me know which one you think looks better. Okay, we're gonna do the white tray, and I thought maybe it would be nice to use some of my green pieces on the white tray. So that's what we're gonna to do today.
So I think we'll take a break from the larger trays and I have um, a medium sized tray and one more large tray to do. I think I'm going to try to style that one back there too, just quickly. But this is one of these um, Target, I think this is, yeah, this is a Target tier tray. So I'm going to try to use some of these pieces here. This acorn is new and the silo and the wagon. So I really want to try these on this black tray here. Okay, so I didn't end up using this piece here. So I've put it over here on my kitchen counter next to my stove. So we'll leave it here for now and see if I like it or if I don't like it here. I don't know. I haven't usually put decor up here because I use my stove so much. I don't know if it's going to stay, but for right now, I think it looks nice. Oh, and this is my new little ladder. This came from Hobby Lobby also. Love these little pieces. You know, isn't that cute? Covers up the outlet there. Okay, now we're going to do the ever popular Hobby Lobby tray. Lots of people have this tray. I have gathered an assortment from my pile here for this tray. Also, if you remember, if you saw my um, Instagram story or if you saw my short, I took this. This is a pick from Hobby Lobby. Not that, but most of this here. And I just bought the pick and I got it 40% off. And I just took all the pieces apart so that I could use them separately on the tray. That's a little hack for doing tiered trays. So we're going to go ahead and start styling this tray. My pile over here, if you can see, is starting to dwindle down. Certainly we're probably not going to use everything, obviously, but we're getting there. I'm using a lot of it today. So I went downstairs to my stash to get a couple of risers. I'm trying to figure out which one of these will fit on here because again, this is a smaller tray and I end up really going with a smaller riser. This the big one is just really too big. So I start off with this riser and then I do start off with this pumpkin on here. And at first I thought it looked okay, but really it, it does not. It's too close to the top. So we're gonna switch that out in a little bit, you'll see.
I'm really enjoying using these mini cloches on my tiered trays. If you saw my Amazon favorites video that I did last week, you saw that that's where I purchased these cloches. And um, they're just a lot of fun and they work really well on these trays. And I'll have a link for you below in case you're interested in them. Okay, I am not going to lie. I am not entirely happy with this one, but that's how it's turned out. This one is a little bit more challenging to decorate because it is smaller. That's what I got. I don't know. I may tweak it a little bit and I'll show you where I'm going to put it. All right, this is my little like tray table I have in my family room. So I put this back here. I put my little I forgot I had this little candle, this little battery operated candle, so I just plopped that back there. I think that adds to it a little bit. I don't know. You tell me what you think. So that's how that one's looking. This is a completely different thing. This is just a little sidebar here. I decided to put this up here and I decided to put my little clock up here which had been in my Hobby Lobby tray from my spring tray. Actually my summer tray. I don't know spring or summer. I'm not sure. I'll link it for you if you're interested but I just thought I would put up here on the shelf. So just did a little more styling on the shelf. Okay back to the trays. Okay, if you are still with me, you rock. <laughs> I am so grateful for you. This is my last tray. I keep it styled like this. It's pretty neutral. We're going to dress it up a little bit for fall. Okay, I really don't want to move this tray. So I'm just going to make a couple of tweaks here.
right, well, here's all the things I didn't end up using. So these things I did just purchase today at the Dollar Tree. So I probably will use these somewhere else in the house for fall when I do something else. So hopefully I am going to be doing at least a couple more things for fall before it's over with. Oh, I did not end up doing a DIY for this truck. I actually have more Christmas paper, so I think maybe I'll do something with this for Christmas time when I do Christmas trays. Well, that's all my trays. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could give me a big thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. It helps my channel out quite a bit. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this from me. Here's a couple more videos for you in case you're interested, and I will see you next time.